all about reducing crime. And, you know, I hope that's the, the end goal of this is that there, there's a reduction in crime. And to get there, his organization is teaming up with two people you may see on your TV regularly, especially for Illini fans. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Champaign County Crime Stoppers is working with Illinois men's basketball. Together, they want to encourage teenagers to download an app and make a change. WCI 3's Amanda Brennan is live at the State Farm Center. Amanda. Well, Jennifer, normally Illini fans are just funneling into the State Farm Center here behind me on their way to watch their favorite basketball players take the court. Now, they're watching some of their favorites like Ty Rogers and Luke Goody right at their fingertips on their phones. But they're not playing Big Ten basketball. They're working to fight crime. Being a great team means everyone works together. Illini basketball players are filling new shoes and working with the Champaign County Crime Stoppers. It's part of a new name, image, and likeness deal for Luke Goody and Ty Rogers. They're getting out of the State Farm Center. The more I crash the glass, the more I get those rebounds, the more it's going to help the team. Um, and that's what I love to do. And getting into a gym and a new role. Their willingness to do it is very important. Louis Margaglioni is a founder of Illini Guardians. It's a group that works with Illini Athletics and NIL programs. He says one of his colleagues wanted to collaborate with Crime Stoppers to target teens and spread the word about the P3 Tips app. Josh Henson helped make the ad happen. I think we just want to get them the, the app in their hands, you know, give them an opportunity to do good things for the community and, um, you know, in a way that is anonymous as well. Henson's on the Crime Stoppers board. He says it's important young people see the message in their social media feeds and on YouTube, especially when basketball players are involved. They're in the know. You know, they, they know what's going on inside of their communities. And hopes this is just the beginning of the change teenagers can make in crime reduction. Just being a good community member, I think we talk about that in the ad, that being a great part of the community is about teamwork and, you know, they can be on the side of doing good and, you know, furthering the community and making it a safer place to be. The positive impression that these athletes can make on the kids, I mean, they're role models. And in the last year, Illini Guardians, the founder says that they've helped about 260 programs and they've connected athletes to those here at Illinois from all sorts of athletic groups. Now, he also says that he hopes that that can continue to grow so that athletes can continue making a difference in the community. Reporting live at the State Farm Center, I'm Amanda Brennan, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Amanda, thank you so much. Some more numbers from Crime Stoppers. This past, past month, the Crime Stoppers board approved more more than $13,000 in rewards since the program started four years ago. The organization says anonymous tips have led to 67 arrests. They've also been able to help recover 81 illegal guns. And that totals nearly $90,000 in rewards to tipsters.